guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back to see me so in today's video i'll show you how i got this beat face and my outfit and fragrance and if you just like to see how i did this keep on watching here we go. okay you guys the hair is done now let's get into the makeup so for my brows i go in with the nyx the brow glue in the shade clear and I just basically uh, rub that left and right in my brow hairs. And I take a spoolie and I just kind of fluff them up. And then afterwards, I like go over them to lay them down. I don't know if that makes sense. And then I'm going with this brush. I don't know where it's from. I got it from like an Ipsy bag. And I'm going to use my Lancome all over concealer and just carve out under and on top of my brows. After I finish carving out my brows, then I'm gonna go in with the primer from one size. It's their waterproof magnifying primer. And I'm gonna warm it up on my hand and put it in my T-zone areas, basically. Basically where I get oily. Cause this really helps. I actually really like this. I don't use it all the time, but I really like this primer. I think it's like the best one in my opinion. And when you're using this primer, make sure you rub it in really good and then wait a minute before you actually start applying products because if you don't it's gonna like basically start to separate so make sure you do that for one full minute and then for under my eyes i'm going in with the milk makeup concealer primer i don't know how to feel about this i still crease under my eyes and it said it's supposed to help with creasing so i don't know then for quote unquote foundation i'm gonna go in with the elf halo glow liquid filter in the shade deep rich I actually really like this um, it's very lightweight but I don't use it often because I'm not really a foundation girly yet you know so but this night I guess I just wanted to do a little much but after I put that all over then I'm gonna spray with my Milani make it last setting spray and then I'm gonna blend and the brushes I'm using are either by elf one is by elf and then the other brush set is just up off of Amazon, but I'll have a link down below in my Amazon storefront so you guys can go and purchase that. But yeah, I'm gonna keep blending, blending, blending. That's the key to makeup, blend. You have to blend. If you don't blend, baby, it's not gonna look right. It's gonna look great. Okay, now for concealer, I'm going in with the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Concealer in the shade 540 i really really like this concealer i still do crease and i know that was a complaint for a lot of people like on tiktok but i don't know i don't crease as much i guess i don't know i really like this this um concealer so i'm gonna put it under my eyes my nose my forehead and my chin just the areas that i'm highlighting then i'm gonna set again with my milani make it last setting spray Baby, I was drowning myself in this. But you have to make sure that you're setting between steps. This is going to give you that very nice airbrush finish look. Okay. After I let my setting spray dry down, we're blending, blending, and blending some more. Blending out all that concealer. Now I'm going in with the Say Sun Melt Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronze. This bronzer, if you don't get nothing else from this video, Get this bronzer she is bomb okay 10 out of 10 10 out of 10. now i'm taking a much smaller brush to lightly bronze my nose you don't want to do too much because it can come off very harsh so a little goes a long way and this is like one of my favorite steps too okay after i bronze now i'm going in with this Julius place blush in the shade rosy posy this is so pretty this is a pretty pink and it's so pigmented Julia place really did that with this blush and my brush that i'm using is from real techniques but like i said i have it all linked in my amazon storefront if you guys want to purchase these brushes and products anyways so i kind of went a little ham on the blush but i'm obsessed with blush lately so now before i set my under eyes i'm just gonna go back in and um lightly just brush out those creases because you don't want to set your eyes when it's creased 
So after I do this, I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Press Powder in the shade Tan, and I'm just gonna set my under eyes real quick. Just lightly set them because we're gonna go in with a loose setting powder as well. But do you see that? Do you see it? Crease wear, crease wear. Now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This, too good. Like, really 10 out of 10. This one and the one size, I have both of those. Bomb. You got to get that. So, I'm just really setting my whole entire face, carving out, like, the contour, cleaning it up a little bit. And I set my whole face with this translucent powder. And it wasn't, like, too ghosty or whatever. Because sometimes I feel like i'm scared to put on the powder because i don't want it to be you know flashback or too just like cakey and stuff like that but this powder is just fine and super super good and it blends very very well so now i'm gonna go with my fenty beauty bronzer i love this oh ruby did her thing with this this is in the shade coco naughty and i'm just setting my bronzer so now once you finish with your creams, we're going to go in with powders to set it. So I'm setting my bronzer with this Fenty Beauty um, bronzer. And like I said, like I love this stuff. All these products that I'm using are really like my go-to lately. Like I highly, highly, highly recommend. So now I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place Volume 5 blush. Oh, it's so pigmented. Like I used to be so scared of blush, but this... Like, do you see this? Like, I just look so, so good. You know what I'm saying? Like, 10 out of 10. So, y'all, don't be afraid to put that blush on because you look good. And I like how, it, how like, I put it on my cheeks and it kind of goes up to, like, the outer corner of my eyes. Chef's kiss. So, now I'm taking a Fenty Beauty bronzer again and I'm just going to add it to my eyelids just to add a little definition, a little just a little some, something nothing too crazy because i'm not really an eyeshadow girly yet you know i'm still kind of in my very getting stages of learning how to do makeup but i think it's coming along well you know what i'm saying anyways so now i'm gonna go in with this essence black liner and i'm just gonna line the bottom of my eyelids i wanted to give like a very sultry look you know what i'm saying grown and sexy you feel me so yeah, and I highly recommend actually Essence. If you're a beginner, like, and you don't want to spend too much money, Essence is super affordable. I think, I want to say this liner was maybe like $1.99. And I also have their um, concealer, and I want to say it might have been like $5. So if you're just now getting into makeup and don't want to spend too much money, I highly recommend checking out the Essence products. Now I'm going in with my L'Oreal Fit Me Press Powder in the shade Mocha. And I'm just going to dust out all of that uh, loose powder on my face and just set my entire face with this um, press powder. I really like this, but a little goes a long way. I feel like if you use too much, it looks cakey. But now I'm taking my Milani Make It Last Setting Spray and I'm setting again. And now for my favorite, favorite part. So I'm going in with the Essence Black Liner and I'm lightly, lightly lining my lips because I feel like the brown that I have is just not really deep enough for me and I want it to be a very, very deep liner. So I'm rubbing that in and now I'm finna go in my one size lip liner in the shade Coin Collector. I've literally been using this ever since I got it. Like I haven't touched any of my other liners. It's just too good. And I'm going over that black liner and also shading the corners of my lips because I want just a little bit of pink to show, but mostly like the liner. So now I'm taking just a little brush and I'm blending it out so it doesn't have those harsh lines and it just blends seamlessly when I put on my liquid lipstick and my lip gloss. So now I'm taking the Milani liquid lipstick in the shade pink a little goes a long way guys <laughs> a little goes a long way but it is super 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 pretty and then on top of that i'm gonna take my favorite gloss the fenty beauty gloss bomb in the shade fuzzy heat this right here i love that stuff i re will repurchase it every time but yeah this is the end of the video so my outfit 
and around right a room setup i can't really just stand back and show y'all but my fragrance is the billy eilish perfume too good smells so good and i just want to give you some outfit details so this two-piece is from pretty little thing jewelry um micah's mk micah's micah's amazon amazon micah's my man period um and then i got these cute gold shoes on they came with a pretty little thing and my earrings are micas and yeah that's the fit hi you reached the end of the video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got some new products that you want to try out um yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye